Welcome along to another video presentation from Saturn Alliance. Help us continue to make material like this available. If you find this video helpful, we'd appreciate a donation via donation.satinalliance.com.au. In this video, we'll look at restoring emails in Exchange Server 2003. Firstly, what we'll do is we will have a look and verify that there is mail in the mailbox so we can access mails quickly via a web browser using Outlook Web Access. As you can see, my mailbox for the administrator at the moment has 30 emails. So what I'm going to do is firstly select a significant amount of these video, uh, these emails and I'm going to hold down the shift and hit delete which will permanently delete them from my mailbox. I refresh and you'll see that there's currently nothing in the inbox for the administrator. What I need now to do is to restore this information, these lost emails from a previous backup. So I've completed a backup previously so the first thing I need to do, do is to restore the information but I can't restore the information into Exchange Server directly. I have to do a merge. So what I firstly need to do is I need to go to the Exchange System Manager and locate the server under the Exchange organization. Right mouse click, select New and create a recovery storage group. This will be the area into which our mails will be restored and then merged from here into the original exchange location. So I'm able here to pick a location for my temporary exchange server. You need to make sure that there's enough space on the drive because you'll be recovering or restoring the whole mail store which could be gigabytes and gigabytes. So firstly we need to pick a location that we know has plenty of space. So in this case I'm going to restore it to the E drive which I know has plenty of space. So I specify that location and then hit OK. And you'll now see that there is an, a recovery storage group displayed under the server along with the normal mail storage group for exchange. So if I now try and expand this recovery storage group, you'll see there's nothing underneath it. So I need to firstly right mouse click and add a database to recover. Select that option and when presented with the database to recover I select the existing mailbox store by just clicking on it and then going OK. Again this then tells me it's going to create a mailbox store where it's going to create it and it'll give me the name of the databases. So in this case it's going to create it on E exchange server recovery storage group mailbox store and then the server name. So I also need to check which is by default turned on the ability to overwrite this database with the restore because this is what we're going to restore to from our old backup. So I click OK to continue and the databases are now cr created. You'll see they now appear under the recovery storage group and the red in arrow here indicates that they are currently dismounted. The next stage is to return to my backup utility. I want to select restore. I locate the backup that I want to restore. In this case the only option that I have backed up is the information or the exchange store. I go in and select my mailbox store and the logs. I'm unable to restore the public folder using this method so I must make sure I only select those two options. I click start restore. I'm then presented with this dialog which asks me for a location to work with temporary files so I give it somewhere that has enough space and I check that the last restore set is checked so that logs will replay. I select OK and my restore 
process will now commence. And I return to my file manager and have a look to see exactly where my databases are. So I nominated to restore them into Exchange Server Recovery Group and you'll see here that the store has been restored along with a number of log files. So that appears correct. The next option then is to return to my Exchange System Manager, locate the Recovery Storage Group, Mailbox Store, right mouse click and mount the store. Select Yes to continue. You should now see that the store has been successfully mounted. Okay, so this now means that we have our normal exchange store still running as well as a recovery store with all our old information. Now, we then have to run or download a program from Microsoft called Xmerge, which allows us to extract data from mailboxes running on Exchange Server. So again, we download that and install it on our system and once we've done that we then simply run the utility by double clicking on it and the wizard will now commence. We select next. We want to extract and import in one procedure. So in this case we're going to extract from our backup and import directly into our current exchange server in a single step. I select that option select next I enter the name of my exchange server here and go next then accesses the server gets a list of the information that's available the destination server is going to be the same so I enter that and select next Okay, now you can see that Xmerge has detected the normal first storage group as well as the recovery storage group. Okay, so we're going to retrieve information from the recovery storage group, so we select that and go next. We'll now be presented with a list of mailboxes that are available on our recovery storage group, which we can then use to extract information from and restore into Exchange. So I select the administrator, I select next next again and you'll now see that the process will run once I select the directory so I'm going to stick it in the e-drive and I go next and finally select next to finish and you'll see the process commencing it's copying from the server mailbox to the personal folders and then it will merge them into the existing Microsoft Exchange so again mer now merging personal folders into the server. So again this is a single step process to reduce any overheads. We select finish. We now return to our Outlook web access. If we now refresh the view you'll now see that the inbox emails that I did delete have been returned as we expected with the restore. So again, all my emails have been restored quickly and easily. Now that I've finished doing my restore, I can get rid of the recovery storage group. So all I do is right mouse click on the mailbox store and I dismount the store. Again, make sure you're doing this on the recovery storage group. Right mouse click on the store again and delete. Select yes. Make sure that you select OK. Right mouse click on the storage group and, del and delete. And now what I can do is return to my file level and locate where the recovery group was. These files are no longer in use because I have restored the information required. I can simply delete these to free up space on my server. This has been a presentation from Saturn Alliance. My name is Robert Crane. If you have any questions about what you've seen here, please send me an email at robert at Thank you for watching.